guys, welcome back to my channel for another awesome keto recipe. Today we're going to making one of my favorite keto pizzas. We're going to be making some keto barbecue pizza. So let's get straight to the video. All right guys, so for our ingredients for our crust, you're going to want some ground chicken, some shredded mozzarella, some grated Parmesan cheese, some black pepper and some salt. And then all these ingredients right here are going to be our toppings. I have some bacon crisp and chopped, some green onions, some red onions, some green bell pepper, some ranch, and some sugar-free barbecue sauce. This is my absolute favorite barbecue sauce and they have tons of different flavors that you could use. First thing we are going to do is make our chicken crust. So you're going to want to get a mixing bowl and we're going to dump in our chicken. Then to our chicken, we're just going to season it with some salt and pepper. You could also add any other seasonings that you like. Just a teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of salt. Then to our ground chicken, we're going to be adding our cheeses. You're gonna add half a cup of your grated Parmesan. and then half a cup of your shredded mozzarella cheese. And this is just going to help the ground chicken stick together. Then either use your hand or get a spatula and make sure you mix everything well together. This crust is very simple and it's delicious. I do have an older video on it where I did top it with pepperonis. And I also do have a couple of videos of my fat head dough. If you do not want a chicken crust pizza, you can just make a fat head dough, top it with some diced up chicken. If you want it that way, I will link it in the description below. Okay, after everything is mixed together, you want to get your pizza pan. If you do not have a pizza pan, you can just use a flat baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper. That will work as well. We're just going to lay it down. Then just use your hands. And you're going to shape it in a round circle and get it as flat as you want it. may take a few minutes just to work it out. Okay, after you have it flattened out, it don't have to be perfect. We have to pre-bake this chicken crust into our oven before we top it. So I have my oven set to 400 degrees and we're going to bake our chicken crust for about 20 minutes, depending on your oven. You just want it nice and crispy and golden brown. So after your chicken crust is done cooking, we're just gonna take it out of the oven and we're just gonna let it cool down for about five minutes. If you do have any leftover juice from the chicken, you just wanna drain it off and it's perfectly fine. Okay, so now we're going to start topping our pizza. So first I'm gonna lay down some mozzarella cheese. Get creative, you could use any cheese that you want on this pizza. You don't just have to use regular mozzarella cheese. And then we're just going to start topping it with all our toppings. So I'm going to put some green bell pepper. My diced red onions. Then my diced green onions. Our chopped up cooked bacon. OK, 
can never have enough bacon. And then lastly, we're going to drizzle our sugar-free barbecue sauce. Just like this, and now we're going to pop it back in the oven. So we're going to put our pizza back into our oven, but this time we're not going to bake it, we're going to broil it so it gets nice and crispy on top. So I'm going to click broil and I'm going to broil it on low so everything still cooks. Yours might be a little bit different. If it's a temperature, you can just broil it at 350 degrees. So after you take it out the oven, everything should be nice and crispy on top. It should look something like this. Now our last ingredient that we're going to top with is a drizzle of ranch. And I just feel like this makes the whole pizza. We're just going to let it cool down and slice right into it. Question of the day, what toppings are you going to put on top of this barbecue pizza? Comment down below. All right guys, so that concludes today's video of Rakito barbecue pizza. If y'all happen to make this recipe, if y'all top it with different toppings, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, post some pictures. I love to see any recipes that y'all make of mine and change it up as y'all's own. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see y'all in my next video.